What's good, how you doing? It's your girl D back with another Samsung video. As the time has come and the Galaxy Note 9 is upon us. This year, I actually, because um, I said last year because of that experience, I actually pre-ordered directly from Samsung. And everywhere else it says if you pre-order by a certain date, you know, you're guaranteed to get it by August the 24th. It is August the uh, 22nd. And I got the sha little phone. So, because I have because I got it sooner than expected I'm going to bring you this is going to be the first of two videos first we're going to do a unboxing um, an accessory haul and a quick checklist on the top four most important things that you should do before transitioning to your note 9 the next video in this series will come a uh, one month from now approximately as such after I've had enough time to use the phone get everything set up everything installed customized make it my daily driver see how it is that it performs so that video will be the actual full in-depth review this is just a quick first impression Impression, unboxing kind of thing whatever what have you so without further ado let's get started first up the number one most important thing you should do before transitioning to the note 9 is to budget bullshit you not this phone is a grand that's more than what I paid for my brand new laptop not gonna lie is it worth it that is you and how it is that you want to allocate your finances my friend but the number one thing that you want to do is budget please now um, of course Samsung in actually all of the retailers Samsung or the vendors I should say Samsung directly your respective retailer Best Buy as well they're offering trade-in credit and let me tell you about this hustle that we had though so um, back in the day when we were being rebellious with the Note 7 and they terminated my service because it was the Note 7 and I still hadn't sent it back and refused um, I said that I would settle for the Google Pixel XL at the time the Google Pixel XL was sold out so I'm like hey Verizon so listen fam what is he going to do to help me in the meantime since the phone that I'm willing to settle for is sold it out and you're not going to allow the continued use of this phone that I want so what they said is that they would go ahead and give me an S7 Edge and they give it to me for free and then whenever I got the Pixel XL I just send the S7 Edge back they never asked for it back they gave it to me for free like I checked everything and my bill was fine they never came for it and the uh, note 7 was how long ago so I offered up the trading credit for the S7 Edge and Samsung's like oh we're gonna give you three hundred dollars so like I'm sold on that homie it was nothing but a word thank you hallelujah holla back holidays so um, the second most important thing that you should do before transitioning to the Note 9 is get your memory card, which we did. Yeet. All of the yeet. So we have huh, a 400 gigabyte card. Is she ready? I'm going to be up all night transitioning everything over super excited about that now one thing I can say though even with me getting this phone outright I still had a um, lease balance with my note 8 with Verizon directly and you actually if you buy the the note 9 outright you don't have to pay your lease agreement in full when you activate it you can just go and continue to pay on the note 8 but still utilize the note 9 as your driver you can pay it off however it is that your finances set up is how you is finance is set up okay but i talked to verizon about that today so i was uh, pretty pleased third thing that you want to make sure that you do is get your accessories ahead of time and i have some to share everything came from amazon and i will link in the description box these particular um brands and vendors 
the availability for Note 9 cases um, was pretty limited until maybe a day or two after launch day and as the phone or uh you know hype day i guess you know when samsung talked about it in the damn event and so um as the phone continues to stay on the market for an extended period of time there will be a bigger variety of products available but i actually got uh, i think four yeah i got a uh, four cases i want to share with y'all um, so right now I'm really big on wallet cases, especially magnetic wallet cases that have the capability to just remove it altogether. This brand is a Movo or a Movo. This is a, a fake leather case, teal in color, all that good stuff. Has a magnetic flap, magnet that slips right back there, sit shut, all that. So I'm real big on wallet cases. Um, and I like those quite a bit. I also have just a regular hard case. And all of most of these clash with the damn phone. Just because I forgot that I got the purple phone. So, but um, there's this one with the bumpers, glittery, sparkly, sparkly, yay. All that good shit sparkle me mine. This one is very pretty. It is a clear hard case. It is a uh, pretty, it's not very rigid. So I've got this one that we will be putting on there. It's got some um, thin flexible parts on the outside. There's that. I have this case here that has the um, secret little pocket here in the back. Oh, you slide that. My bad. My bad. Didn't realize I'm supposed to slide that. My bad. My bad. Okay, so we fuck it up, but that's fine. There we go. So this one with the back that slides out to put your cards and IDs there and everything like that. And then because I have to have one with whatever note device I get, we have a Caseology case. Caseology and Caseology is one of the best accessory brands out there so the parallax series i literally have one of these for every single phone i have don't care but look at it so where are we on the checklist the budget make sure you get your memory make sure that you get your accessories and last but not least you want to make sure that you synchronize everything don't synchronize it ahead at the day that you get the phone synchronize it ahead of time um, some of my favorite things that I use for synchronization I use SMS SMS um, backup and restore for my text messages because I literally roll over about 45 50 that never mind it says 90 didn't realize I was had a okay so a 90 tech 90,000 text messages whatever device I switch all call logs because I'm petty I need to be able to point back to whatever happened four years ago and say this is where it is that you had me fucked up um I also um, I use Nova Launcher Pro for my actual launcher I don't like um TouchWiz is cool but I I paid for Nova Launcher Pro Prime whatever it is back in the day when it was like a quarter and so I just roll, I've been rolling with that ever since. Um, I usually back that up and send it to my email so I can download it. Um, I like to synchronize whatever I can with Google Drive. Helium was awesome, but unfortunately it's antiquated and with the later versions of Android, it does not do what it's supposed to do anymore. And that, that hurts my heart. Helium is a good one if you have an older version of Android, but you're not gonna have a lot of luck. Um, I think that died out moving to the Note 8 is when I finally had to stop using it. Um, what 
else do I synchronize? Oh, also, all of your game data. If you have the capability to um, save it to Google, um, like use your Google login or use your Facebook login, please, 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 please do that. Like Pokemon Go just got lit. And so my Pokemon Go progress is saved with my Google ID. That's what I use for login. My Candy Crush progress, I use my Facebook login for that. Um, so that way I don't have to lose my high scores or my progress or my um, power-ups or anything like that. Uh, Mario, uh, Mario Run is with my Nintendo ID and a few other things so just make sure that you save your game progress and everything don't factory reset your old phone until you're done getting everything off of it as well like just, just that's just a tip um and in that synchronization you know that you want to make sure you get your last settings for any other devices that you had um or pairs that you had like um i'll need to reinstall my um, gear fit onto the Note 9, um, if you had any kind of home speakers like your Apple or, well actually no, like Alexa or your, um, or your Google home speaker, make sure that you're getting those ready to go again to uh, synchronize any kind of security settings, any kind of password settings, just get all of that synced ready to roll so that way you can have a smooth transition utilizing samsung smart switch will be pretty beneficial too but if you ain't got that kind of time to transfer everything from cable to cable level levels you know that's these are things to help you plan ahead of time that's all that's it that's all so now let's look at our uh, beautiful friend here see what it is that we've got so the first thing that i noticed is that the sleeve has the beautiful purpley metal foil impression of the S pen. However, the box is still the the black on black and has the uh, the slightly blue offset interior contrast level. So, you know, just me from an aesthetic standpoint, if you're going to give me a purple sleeve, then give me a purple box. Like, dude, that'd be dope. But whatever. Opening up. You fancy. Alright, so the top little thing here, this is your um, terms and conditions, your safety information, your little quick start guide, as well as a little uh, hoobie hobby to eject and add the sim card and such so there's that it's called the eject pin apparently oh hello then after that you have your beautiful friend she's gorgeous now i'm gonna have to get used to the fact that the fingerprint like, I'm used to the fingerprint thing being here. Um, that might just a slight adjustment to go right here towards the center, but it was like that on my Pixel XL. And I really liked it being dead center in the back of the phone. However, look, you might be a little bit more adept to fuck up the back of your camera. Well, not fuck up the back of the camera, but get fingerprint smudges on there. Um, if you're not at first glance, we've got the little cameras. Oh, she's, she's gorgeous. Feels feels about the same weight but she's pretty we've got let's see is that just one single damn speaker down there it is yeah, I, was, I thought y'all was hyping me up saying that we was gonna get dual speakers but whatever okay we still got the headphone jack though and of course the USB type C charging port so aesthetically it feels the same with the um, looks like we've still got some uh, bevel here on the edges. It's also a fingerprint magnet, my friends, so don't, don't think that you're not going to get this mug dirty. You're not. So, that's nice. And then lifting up this other inside tray, we have, oh, we have a dark colored charger. That's interesting. Okay, alright. Y'all couldn't give me a purple charger for my purple phone, motherfuckers? And then this other 
fun little box of joy I think has the headphones in it okay yes we have oh those oh those are braided oh wow that's an actual braided cable did not know that's a braided cable not your standard one so okay I'm from a AKG and Oh, what else fell out? No, that was the car or the cord. Oh, yeah, and then we've got the um, other adapter for the USB for smart switch. And then we have the little new knob toy thing to get the uh, S Pen tip out. I'm a little interested in this AKG brand. I am. Speaking of AKG, that was the gift that I chose. And so. Oh, yes. Thank you for purchasing the Galaxy Note 9. So I got these um, headphones that are Bluetooth enabled. And they are noise canceling. I'll have to read more about these AKG headphones. Um, they are wireless. They do come with a detachable cable. With a universal one button remote. All that good stuff. So, uh, me personally, I would have preferred another you know gear but since they are in the midst of launching another gear right now I'm sure they want to try to increase those sales so anyhow that's it that's all again the full in-depth review will come in a month so give me some time to play with my my new friend hi my name's Dee it's nice to meet you Get to know her and all that good stuff and then we'll be back with that full in-depth review again in the description box will be links for where i got all of um my cases on amazon i am now an amazon influencer so if you want to help me out with however it is that that works once we get that figured out you know uh, but if you want, you can use my specialized links. I'll have those for you. Um, I do get some type of incentive for telling y'all about the shit, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet because I ain't had the time. So again, budget for this. Get your memory card, get your accessories, and get things synchronized. Cool? Cool. And I know a lot of people do know those things, but some people may have forgotten and some people may have overlooked things, you know, like making sure that your contacts are synchronized with your Google account and they're not stored manually on your phone. Making sure that your third party launch your custom settings are okay. Making sure that you remember to resynchronize with all of your home devices and your watches. Making sure that you've got your security taken care of. Making sure that you've got your charger cords of a decent length. That you've got your case before you have your phone and that you don't have to pay Samsung or Verizon or Best Buy or whomever it is that's got it enough charges to get a case that's readily available because all of these cases that were I think they're the cheapest one was or the most expensive one was $12 like we budgeting over here okay um, making sure that your game data is synchronized with um, some type of account that's easily that you're able to get back into that kind of thing um, and that you're okay with the cost don't be afraid to trade something in um, I am a collector so I'm going to keep the 7, 8, and the 9 I may trade in the Pixel XL at some point in time I'm not sure but yeah well thank you for watching this video so as always Again, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you have any questions or suggestions, hit your girl up in the comment section. If you are new here, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you back on my channel. But if you're not here for me, my shenanigans, my opinions, or anything else it is that you don't like, that's fine. There's an X in that corner for you to click it live and get off of my channel. But if you are here for my shenanigans, you're beautiful, amazing, wonderful, spectacular. And if no one else has told you, I appreciate you. You guys have a wonderful day.